All right, so when High Point Scientific sent me the first scope, I don't think they had this in mind, but I've equipped it with a little solar filter and I'm using an SV Bonnie SV105 camera. And uh, we're gonna go see if we can uh, capture this annular eclipse this morning. This is crazy. I've not tested any of this stuff. This is literally first light with the scope. And uh, let's see how this all works and hopefully I don't burn anything. All right, so we're just waiting for the sun to clear the horizon. I got a couple little trees and stuff. We still have about 30 minutes till uh, maximum eclipse. There's a couple clouds here, so I'm hoping it all clears off. But if you're interested to know what I've done, I have SharpCap running on my computer, which is connected to, via USB to the SV Bonnie 105, which has got the scope here. This lovely label for everybody to say, don't use it during, um, don't point it at the sun, which is exactly what I'm doing today. But I have a solar filter on the front that uh, is good. Very important. You're not supposed to point this scope at any sun, like ever, unless you have a solar filter. Now I know what I'm doing. I've made these solar filters before for bigger telescopes and I actually went and 3D printed the, uh, the mask and everything. So it's good to go and I checked it out beforehand. But yes, you should buy a proper solar scope filter if you're gonna do this yourself. Um, I just happen to have been doing this for 15 years. So have a little bit more skill or knowledge, whichever one you wanna pick in terms of how to set that up. And then we just point it at the sun, but it is important to note that without that solar filter, um, it would kill this camera almost immediately, burn the sensor. And if this was an eyepiece and your eye was here, you would be blind. So very important, make sure you have a proper solar filter. And in this case, I'm using Bader film um, in order to ensure that you're safe. And you'll note that I have it where I'm viewing with an eyepiece because while it is film and I've used hard filters as well, I don't 100% trust these. I really don't. So I would actually never use my eye and visually observe the sun or solar eclipse or anything. I always use a camera, even like the more expensive cameras, because I'd rather destroy this, you know, $50 camera or my $2,000 camera than one of these, which is irreplaceable. So good to know, just a quick safety note. And uh, yeah, let's get back to how well I did this morning. All right, we are at maximum uh, coverage here in uh, Ontario. It's uh, 541 and you can see here on the screen, I have it. It is slowly moving. So I do have to adjust the scope every so often to grab it, but I'm getting it, it's there, it's good. We do have some clouds. Uh, so it's not necessarily the best picture in the world, but you know, I'm gonna make a little video clip of it, which uh, you'll be able to see while the video is going. So look at that. So, woo, this actually worked out. So many firsts today. Um, I went and 3D printed a uh, solar filter on the scope. Uh, first time using this first light with a solar eclipse. Like that's just crazy. Um, and having it with the camera, this is the first time I've tried it. I was a little worried that it wasn't gonna reach focus, but it does just reach focus with the uh, SP Bonnie 105. Um, at night, you can use it to see stars, but <laughs> yeah, no, this is just crazy. Hey everyone, it's a couple more hours. Um, now the sun's actually quite up and I got the sun here and I'm using the solar scope and because it's above all the haze and the clouds, it's actually a little bit more brighter than it was this morning. So I just have a super cheap uh, RGB uh, filters and I just stacked them and I've inserted them in in front of the camera and that's just to reduce the intensity of the light given that the sun is very bright when it's high up in the sky. Otherwise it blows out the sun completely. So it's a bit of fun. Um, obviously the main event was this morning but I wanted to go through and just see how well it did um, compare that to like what else the camera can do. Which I've tested before at night with the moon and some planets when they were closer to opposition and it does give some decent results for being only fifty dollars thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video please be sure to hit the like and subscribe and leave any fun comments you want to leave down below because uh yeah uh this has been successful as far as i'm concerned and i'm really happy and now there's a boat going by why is there a guy driving down towards a solar eclipse at like at 5.40 in the morning. <laughs>